Hello, my friends. How do you feel about doing a nice little K Beauty and J Beauty haul today, complete with a skincare try on and some hair care? I'm finally trying. This is J Beauty, J Beauty hair care and K Beauty. <laughs> to make this video as helpful as possible for you, we have timestamps and links in the description box below, and I'm going to divide this video into three different categories. We'll start with skincare, and we have a try on of skincare products. I'm still deciding if I will have makeup in this video because I only have three items for today's video. And I'm gonna close this video with a lot of hair care, but not the, the uh, thoughts on them yet. But just kind of as an intro, this is going to be my, my year of trying Asian hair care. Finally, I've thought about doing it for a long time. This is the year. And as for the products in this video, this is actually from all three of my favorite retailers. I've placed orders at YesStyle, StyleVana, and Style Korean. Do you know why? Well, because it's 2024 and we've got to make an update for the retailer comparison. Things have changed. Things have changed the most at YesStyle, have you all noticed? <laughs> Not only did YesStyle take away the daily free gifts that I talked about in that video, but now as of the new year, they've changed their rewards program. It's a downgrade. I'm, I'm so sad to tell you. I still love YesStyle, but they have changed the most. Whereas with StyleVana and Style Korean, things have improved in positive ways. Style Korean is offering uh, the occasional lower threshold for shipping. Style Vana seems to be throwing us even more free gifts and also faster shipping. You all know I still love all three retailers. I just kind of, they're, they're in different spots in my mind. You know, if I want something real quickly, Style Korean. If I want the best price, Style Vana. Yes Style. <laughs> I, I don't know where Yes Style sits in my mind at the moment. Let's get into chatting about what I bought. I do want to start with some of my repurchases, and I think, I think it's optimal for me to fly through these, especially if you saw my little value breakdown I did of Style Vana, then you, you already saw these. If you didn't see that video, you still probably know what I repurchased. I am extremely predictable here. Costa Baja Azelaic Acid Serum, yes. Lion Pear Cream, of course. Two more boxes of Eliza Vecca's Blemish Spot Patches, of course. I do give away a lot of these patches that I buy. I, I do give away a lot because I feel so bad when I find out people are spending $20 on these when I get them for two. Do you all know that nobody leaves my house without some kind of beauty product? I, can, I can't resist. I have to give people stuff. Do you, do you need anything? Do you want anything? If any of you came to my house, you would leave with a giant box of stuff. But there's a catch to everything in life. You would have to put up with my 80 degree house. Oh yes, you would. The lizards must be comfortable and me. See, now you're going, oh, a box of free beauty products or 80 degrees, that's 26 degrees Celsius for everyone everywhere else in the world. <laughs> See, this Fahrenheit thing, it's just an example of how stubborn Americans are. Why do we use a system that doesn't even really make sense? There is one item I repurchased that I think the last time I bought this might have been 2017, 2018. I went back for another Etude uh, My Lash Serum. It's really been a while, you know, I was using the Ordinary's Multipeptide Lash Serum that I talk about in that video, but I, I just thought I wanted to try this again. I wanna give it another go, it's been a long time. Let's see how this compares to the peptide serums. This is just a very simple biotin-based formula, that's the ingredient that they highlight. Uh, I do think that the humectants probably have a fairly important role, to be honest with you. That would just make sense to me uh, that again, if you have you know good hydration around your lashes, your lashes will probably be healthier. Here's the new stuff. I haven't tried most of it, but I did actually break into these Curesis Trouble Clear patches. I bought these because I do like the um, uh, dissolvable needle style patches from time to time. When you have a pimple under your skin, it's not something that you can use a hydrocolloid on yet. That's when these really come in handy, but ooh, these are pricey. <laughs> these are very pricey. From Western brands, I mean. These were about six to eight dollars on the Stylevana website for nine patches. You can't pay that kind of price in the West. You, you can't. 
And they have really nice ingredients. So far, I've been very happy. I've only used one of these so far, but yeah, I think it's another good option for dissolvable needle patches. I grabbed two of these APLB glutathione niacinamide sheet masks. I really just added these to pad my cart. <laughs> I make my own sheet masks. I don't really need sheet masks, but I thought I would try them. I still haven't. I, I will have to report back on these, but I've really liked this brand. We're gonna try their eye cream on in the try on section. And then this is also one I told you about, the uh, Kiss Me mascara remover. You know, I'm surprised. This looks a lot larger than the Cezanne one that I reviewed in my J Beauty video. Looks can be deceiving though. Oh, it says right here, 6.6 .6 milliliters. Let me grab my Suzanne. I can't tell, but I can show you. I can show you what I mean. Look at the size difference. There's, there's gotta be more product in the one by Kiss Me. I'm not gonna break into that until I finish my Suzanne, so it may be a while. We'll see how long it is till I can tell you about that, but I am excited. Oh, that category, it is so nice. Let's do the skincare try on next. So Stylevana did send me some products. Let me go ahead and show you which of the products they sent me. I requested most of these. These three right here, Tear Tear, April Skin, and Cozier. I hope I'm saying that correctly. People get so funny about pronunciation of brands, but I don't really know why, because if you watch Reels and TikToks, nobody pronounces the brand name. <laughs> you get music behind clips. You have to go to YouTube and hope that someone pronounces the brand name correctly. To this day, I have people correct me on IOP, and maybe I'm wrong. I might be wrong, but that is what the brand told me to say. <laughs> I think they spelled out I-O-P-E-E. -E. Would you say IOP? They told me a lot of people pronounce their brand name incorrectly, so they really wanted to have me say it right. And they didn't, they didn't correct me if I did misunderstand. I don't know. I don't know how to say that brand name. I tried. And also these two from eCentry, which I have been using the most. I'm, I'm fairly predictable in that aspect. But let's go ahead and try this April skin. This is one that Stylevana recommended for me. They said a lot of people are enjoying this. And, uh, you know, April skin is now on Stylevana, which is very exciting. But this is called the Real Calendula Peel-Off Pack. And I am, I am nervous. <laughs> How many of you are real OGs on this channel and you remember when I tried Wet n Wild? <laughs> I don't, I will never forget it. I think about it a lot, actually. It was a, a peel-off mask that Wet n Wild had released, and it, it wasn't just me that was having this situation. People couldn't get it off. But I admit, I probably had, I probably did have a little bit more of a dramatic response because apparently I'm a bit of a drama queen. I remember running from the bathroom to the kitchen and getting a butter knife out of the drawer and trying <laughs> trying to scrape this mask off my skin with a butter knife. It still wasn't working. I couldn't get this mask off. So I think what we'll do is we'll just, uh, we're just gonna put this on my nose area. I'm nervous. I'm just gonna put it on my nose. I'm also not quite following the directions since it says you're supposed to use it after facial wash and I didn't wash my face. Uh, that should make it easier to peel off, right? I am now going to wait 30 minutes and uh, hope for the best and we'll, we'll come back together and see how this comes off. <laughs> it's been 30 minutes and I think we're gonna be okay because I, I was very nervous over here and I've already kind of tried peeling some of this off. Oh, we are gonna be just fine. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, I'm doing a George Carlin. <laughs> Would you look at that? Yeah, that was actually, that was, that was great. That was no problems whatsoever. In the ingredients list, I highlighted the, uh, the polyvinyl alcohol. That's what helps with re making it a peel off mask. I feel like that's the point of this product. I certainly think it's an optional category. I, I, I very much think that. But, you know, that wasn't a bad experience. Let's move on to both of these Eason Tree 
Onion New Pair products, a lot of you told me in my Eason Tree video that you really liked these or you just wanted to hear my thoughts on them. So I was gonna buy these regardless, but Stylevana offered to send me items and I said, you know what I've been eyeing? The Onion New Pair clear pads. I know that toner pads are this huge thing right now. And I, I feel like I get it in some ways, but then I really don't in others because I swear you can take a toner in a pad make your own toner pads. I guess this is a convenience thing, but it's just, it's hard for me to understand how much more of a convenience this is versus pouring. Can somebody who really likes toner pads, can you tell me what the appeal is? Don't get me wrong, I like this product, it's well done. Actually, no, I do have to tell you one thing. Somehow I've torn a few of these apart. <laughs> Only these, only Eason trees. For some reason, when I've gone to, like, you know how you pull them out and sometimes the pads are stuck together? Somehow I've accidentally been pulling the pad itself apart. I don't know why. It's not really a big problem, just something I've noticed with these. I do like that they're a bit larger than some of the other toner pads I've tried, and you know I love these ingredients. You know I love onion extract. It does not smell like onions, it just feels like calming and soothing. Beautiful ingredients list, fragrance free but does not smell like onions, some panthenol, niacinamide, some heart leaf, PHA, your gluconolactone ingredient used for exfoliating. What I can tell you is that I've, you can see I've used, can you see I've used a few, a good bit of these? But it was to the top. All I can say is I feel like I am having a remarkably good skin month. I have started to have comments roll into this channel of people saying, Ugh, she uses filters. Oh my gosh, it's the best insult I could possibly get. Do you understand that for years I used to get comments from people saying, Ugh, I would never watch her channel. She talks about skincare but has acne, um. Anyway, I don't know how to use filters. I have no idea. I don't want to learn. I do have lights. The lights are a mixed bag. You would not want to watch this channel without lighting. You know, you, you, you gotta have good lighting. But in all truth, these lights always make my makeup look so much worse. <laughs> they make everything look more bold. So I, I will think that my blush looks good in real life, and then I will film a video only to see <laughs> the blush looks much more intense, and therefore you can see wh what I couldn't see, where I could have blended better. The lights are really a mixed bag. <laughs> Moving on to the Onion New Pair B5 Ampoule. This is your standard gel-like ampoule and it is also wonderful. I was telling you about my good skin because I believe it's a combination of everything I've been doing this month, which is, of course, the Experiment and Prequel products. It's not a lot, it's only five products and a mask. I've been testing a lot of barrier repair products. I am, I'm going to have a video of all of those grouped together. They're all good, but you know, no, nobody needs all of them. So I've decided I'm gonna do those in a comparative sense. And then out of all these K-Beauty products, I have been reaching for the Easton Tree and the Tear Tear the most. Tear Tear is up next, you, you, you will see. So you know, it's just really been a, a month of all of these calming products and my skin my skin is loving it. If I could go back in time and tell my younger self anything about skincare, I would say don't buy the Wet n Wild mask. <laughs> and I would say, you know, buy less of these products that are designed to fight acne and buy more of these products where the goal is calming and soothing and start adapting. Also that, uh, very much that. <laughs> I have been waiting for this moment. We are about to try on two tier tier products. Obviously I'm trying on more than you need in a routine, but we are gonna try these on. I have a story to tell you first of all. So I received this one as a, a recommendation from Stylevana. I told them I wanted to try something from this brand because a lot of you have requested this brand in my comments. So they picked the Ceramic Milk Ampoule to send me. I tried it one single time and immediately went and bought the toner as well. Because let me tell you some things about this brand. If you have dry skin, you might know exactly what I'm talking about here. So for those of us with dry skin, I do feel like a lot of K-Beauty products 
don't feel like they maybe cater to us. And what'll happen if you have dry skin and you're using a moisturizer that's too light for you is you will just, you will really plow through it. You can finish a, a full size moisturizer in three weeks because that's not quite the texture that your skin needs. You know, you'll, you'll just go through products more quickly. And so far, I feel the only brand that I've called a K-Beauty brand for dry skin so far has been Mary and May. This brand, this tier tier brand is even more dry skin friendly. I'll start with the toner. I thought, well, you know, I like Eccentry's Milk Toner, Laneige's Toner. Is this really gonna be that different? Yes, because I only need the tiniest amount, the tiniest amount of this. I am not going to plow through this. I'm not going to because it's really designed for my skin type. And if you do have oily to uh, normal skin, you still might appreciate the toner in particular, but it is, you, you are definitely going to feel a moisturizing sensation from a toner. And that's a great ingredients list as well. It even has some of my favorite peptide ingredients in it. But the ampoule, the ceramic milk ampoule, I, I see why Style Vana picked this. It truly is on another level for those of us with dry skin. This is plastic. The toner is glass, just to let you all know. It is possible that I may have never seen a serum or ampoule with this kind of texture. I can use the tiniest, the tiniest amount of this. And you can, can you see how thick? this product is and it feels so emollient. And yet it's got this hydrating sensation. It's almost everything. It's almost everything all in one. A little bit of hydration, a little bit of a, a, an emollient feel, a bit, a smidge occlusive. I wonder how I can best convey this. Can you see how slowly it is dripping? I think that is probably the best way for you to understand this product. Thick, so very, so very thick of a product. I want to know more about this brand. If any of you have other product recommendations, please drop them. Otherwise, I will just buy everything from this brand that I can find because I must see if this is truly the K-Beauty dry skin brand. APLB, glutathione niacinamide eye cream cute little packaging here. So this has 2% niacinamide and 0.1% of the antioxidant glutathione. Let's see. The texture on this is making me think it will be really nice under makeup. I really can't do eye gels. It's not enough for me. But the uh, Good Molecules eye gel is an example. Too light for me, but it's kind of hard to find an eye cream that is the perfect texture for under makeup. We're gonna test that, we're gonna test that today. And they're just saying it provides nutrition and moisture, which is pretty much what I expected from the ingredients list. Okay, well, we'll give more thoughts when we get to the makeup section. Let's try out this Coax Coaxier <laughs> Intensive EGF Peptide Cream. Oh, I remember why I haven't tried this. There's actually a reason. I was reading through the reviews on this cream and I saw people saying that it contains snail mucin. Well, per the ingredients, it doesn't, but is this gonna be a product that has that kind of texture? What are y'all reviewers talking about? I was expecting that stringy sensation. What, what on earth? This just seems like it's gonna be a nice lightweight moisturizer. I was out here thinking I was gonna be making a point. It is not at all, it is not at all like uh, snail mucin. I do y'all ever read the reviews sometimes? I'm not gonna review reviews today. <laughs> We've done that a few times though. I was looking at reviews for something and they're just so unhelpful. I feel like half the time people review the wrong product. Very interesting ingredients. It does have your EGF. It has copper tripeptide one, quite a few plant extracts, including ginseng. Ooh, it has mung beans in it. They're very nutritious, but they smell like death. And we're gonna end with a sunscreen. I bought this on a subscriber recommendation. It is the Skin Food Berry SPF 50 plus PA4 plus, and it does appear to have the new formula without the white cast. Oh, it's a little runny. Whoa. I actually didn't buy this on Stylevana, but I was looking at what they have and I, I should have, I should have. I found a trio with three of these uh, minis of the skin food sunscreens for $2 more than I paid for one. So if you're interested, I will link this, but yep, yep. That's, 
That's that formula I know and love. Maybe I should have bought the full size. I I need to do my sunscreen declutter, but you know, the sunscreens I'm gonna be keeping are my J Beauty sunscreens and this new formula. These filters. Why did I buy a mini? I should have bought a full size. I'll link you a full size also if you're interested. Thank you to whoever asked about this product. Very nice. Mm, that's a great option. I thought it might smell like blueberries, but it actually, I, I really, I'm not smelling much at all in this product. Let's talk about these hair products. Let me admit, I wish I wasn't sharing this with you today. My hair is so neglected. Please don't look at it. I said, don't look at it. And what's the first thing that you did? It looks thick right now, doesn't it? That's a sock. I am excited though. There's a chance that this might go really well for me because while I do think I have finer hair than most Asian hair, I, it is straight. And that's one problem I've run into buying Western hair care is a lot of it is designed for wavy or curly hair, which is of course beautiful, but by me using those products, it can kind of weigh my hair down. So I'm not gonna review anything. I'm not gonna link anything. I'm just gonna show you what I've bought so far and in time I will update. So I bought the Lador Perfect Fill Fill Up. I bought a whole set of CP1 items. And this was, this was very hard to get information about, but they had for $10 on Style Korean, a shampoo and conditioner, a uh, premium hair treatment. I think this is the uh, hair mask, huge hair mask, and then an ampoule, a leave-in ampoule. And then the J Beauty hair products I bought, these were highly recommended. The And Honey brand, these are not on Style Vana, so I had to buy them on Yes Style, and they're kind of expensive. So I did only get the shampoo and the repair hair oil, but I went over to Style Vana for the Shiseido, Fino Premium Touch Hair Mask. Just a much better price point at Style Vana. This one smells so good. So, the And Honey products smell good too. Oh, by the way, I also took out my uh, Eliza Vecca and a couple more Lador products that I received from Style Vana a while ago. So we're gonna try hair stuff. I'm excited. I'm very excited. And listen, let's end this video with these makeup products. It's only three. It's only gonna be a, a cushion foundation, a mascara, and a lip balm. This cushion foundation, this is the first time where I have felt like I chose the wrong shade. It's kind of not really a cushion foundation. It's actually, you, you push on the side and the product just kind of, it's a, it's a, it's a liquid foundation in this pump system. But y'all, it's too light. This is shade 21. This is the shade I've always bought and it's, it's too light. <laughs> or maybe it's actually, maybe it is that it's more saturated. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try to wear it really light today and see if that helps. It's not bad and I can definitely just add some kind of contour or bronzer product to it. It's, it's not terrible because it is light coverage or at least I'm applying it light coverage. But yeah, I was really surprised by that. I am almost always shade two in Western products, shade two, shade two my hourglass shade two. <laughs> I am fairly fair, fa fairly fair. But yeah, I wish, I, I do wish I grabbed shade 23. I, I think that would have, I think that would have looked better. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of concealer to see how that plays with the eye cream. I said I was gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Oh, that's, that's a fantastic eye cream for under makeup. That is something I seek. I do get very tired of eye creams giving me grief under my concealer. <laughs> and then this Unleashia lip balm. This was so cute. This is the Red Pepper Lip Balm. And this is shade number two, Sweet and Sour Recipe. Apparently this one does not have the uh, uh, red pepper in it, so there's no stinging sensation. But I think the two other shades do. I think it's varying intensity. And then the Farmstay Princess Curl and Long Lash Mascara. I think this is going to be a tubing mascara. It says, 
This mascara is easily removable with lukewarm water, which minimizes irritating the eyes. So I think this should be perfect for a, a very simple, extremely simple makeup look today. This mascara is hard to find, but it has a, a big wand, and that's something I've really been looking for. Most of the K-Beauty and J-Beauty mascaras tend to have kind of thinner wands. Uh, this is applying a little bit like the Milani tubing mascara. <laughs> I got a nice little clump going on. I've said it before and I will say it again, I do not like reviewing mascaras until pretty much I finished them because they can change so much. But on first impression, this feels so much, so much like the Milani tubing mascara. We certainly did talk about the Milani tubing mascara on this channel and you know some of you loved it and some of you not so much. So that's all I will say for now. I'll follow up though. That brings us to the end of this haul video. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for all of your recommendations. And that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video and I will see you all next time.